Hey guys, what's going on? And welcome to Talking Vegas All Day with KA. I'm your host, KA. And on today's episode, I'm going to either confirm or debunk a myth. And that is, does the $20 tip actually work in Las Vegas hotels and casinos? Now, you might be saying to yourself, KA, what is the $20 tip? bottom line is in your check-in to a hotel or casino you kind of have a twenty dollar in your hand you ask hey you got any nicer rooms the rumor is they're going to upgrade you to another room and i see that all the time does the twenty dollar tip work so today we're going to discuss that a little bit but before we do make sure to hit that like button click subscribe punch that notification bell so you can be updated when we drop new episodes each week so without further ado let's go ahead and get started on talking vegas all day with K.A. Let's go to Vegas, baby. Let's go tonight. Right now. Let's go to Vegas. We'll stay up all night. Up in the middle. Let's go to Vegas. Let's look at a couple factors that may or may not go into this. First off, time of the year. And I've talked about this on a previous episode. So your high volume days compared to your off times. I've seen a lot of people, including myself, try this during the off times with more success. I've gone March maybe once or twice have tried this. And yeah, you might get a little bit of a nicer view. But during the off times or off peak times, you're going to get maybe a little bit more like a corner room or an upgrade from a standard to a premium or something like that so time of the year your length of your stay if you're there one night maybe you're gonna get a nice upgrade if you're there a whole week or longer as the casino and hotel really want to lose maybe a 80 dollar room and they're gonna upgrade you to a 200 dollar room no they're not gonna do that room availability if they don't have any upgrade rooms if they're sold out guess what (laughs) you're not getting an upgrade that goes without saying special occasions so birthdays anniversaries maybe your first time in vegas things like that so if you're going with your girlfriend significant other maybe family it's your first time you say hey you know this is my family's first time in vegas you know i'd love to really treat them show them a good time that might work host factor guest factor and what i mean by that is to be quite honest it depends on the person checking you in and i'll talk about this a little bit later if you have somebody that's really hospitable really wants to give you the full vegas experience they're going to be more app to giving you maybe an upgrade than somebody that's just there collecting a paycheck or maybe he's having a bad day. It just depends on the person. Also, if you go in there expecting like, hey, here's $20, I want an upgrade. You ain't gonna get it. Make small talk, talk to the person, get to know them, explain why you're there. You're in Vegas, be excited, all right? Don't just go in there expecting it because guess what? Nine times out of 10, you're probably not gonna get much. But if you at least try to show that you're interested, having a good time, things like that, you might get lucky price of the room and this is also really good so in your head if you're thinking hey um here's a 20 dollar i'm getting like a 30 dollar room but i'd love to see that 200 night room probably not gonna get that i hate to tell you that folks but if you're expecting to go from two standard queen room up to maybe a junior suite <laughs> now that's not happening I will say though, sometimes if you're a rewards member or you're a frequent of that hotel, they kind of know you, you will maybe then get some of that, you know, oh, you've been here several times, Kay. We can't give you the junior suite, but we can give you maybe like a corner room or something around those next tier levels. So if you're low level, maybe get a next tier. That sometimes works. But before we dive into the finish of this episode just a couple thoughts my wife's first time in vegas we went out we stayed at a hotel on the strip and it was a very special occasion for her she'd never been in vegas went in and did a 20 dollar tip guess what we were there for a whole four or five days guy was really nice you know did the whole thing just really talking to him and it was a really busy week too but instead of just giving us a low level room they upgraded us to a really nice view we got to see the southern end of the strip and we got to see all the mountains out to red rock that was a nice little upgrade these gave us a higher room view then i was out staying downtown for a business trip they had us push towards fremont street and i kind of did that trick because i knew it was going to be loud and again it was early in the week we were out there for seven days believe it or not and they gave us a corner king and it was a much nicer upgrade and they gave us a little bit of a discount on that room 
That was our second time using this tip. Another time I stayed at the El Cortez, they moved my room from the cheap suites to the newly remodeled. I got lucky that time. For our anniversary, this was this past summer. All three times we told them it was an anniversary. One place, they moved us from an older tower to a newly remodeled tower, gave us a nice room. Another place tried to upgrade us to a junior suite, but they couldn't, they could give us a discount. We were there on a budget, but what they ended up doing is giving us a really nice view of the pool and the strip. And then on our actual anniversary, when we tried it, they were book solid because it was getting into the weekend. But what they did was they switched us in another room from being with a really weird view to a view of the Bellagio fountains. So that was really nice. I've done it a couple other times where it just hasn't worked. What they'll do is they'll show you, well, we can give you this upgrade or we'll just give you a better view. And sometimes if you're really cool with where they're going to put you, is it really worth it for, you know, wait another three, four minutes? And eh, probably not. I mean, sometimes it is, but just depends. So in closing, just kind of my reality of the thoughts. Special occasions, as you hear, tend to work a little bit better than, you know, just coming up there. Be kind. Most likely you're going to get a higher room or just a nicer view. You might sometimes get discount room upgrade, but that's really about it. Don't expect to get these big, big things. So in summation, is the $20 trick real or a myth? It's real, but again, it just depends on the person that's checking you in. That's my whole two cents. Now, I'd like to hear what you guys have to say. Have you tried this $20 tip? Has it worked? Have you gotten this lavish upgrade? Or have you just been striking out all the time? I'm interested to hear what you guys got to think. Because again, this is Talking Vegas all day with KA. And it's not just about me here talking. I want to hear from you guys. So drop a comment. Let me know what you think. Is this all just a bunch of baloney? Is it just people being nice? Because I have had once or twice where I've forgotten to give them a $20 bill and I've still gotten the upgrade. Is this just people being nice? Which I really think at the end of the day, it is. But I always tip when I'm in Vegas for good service. And I encourage you to because this is how these people out there make their living, guys. They're in the hospitality business. So I want to close on that. Always, whether you get that $20 room or not, treat people great because they're out there to make your time great as well. So, hey, that's all for today on Talking Vegas all day with KA. Make sure to click like, hit subscribe on your way out, and make sure to follow us and keep the conversation continuing on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. I look forward to talking to you guys next time, and we'll see you again on Talking Vegas all day with KA.